right, thanks for watching. And today I want to show that the absolute value function is continuous. So let's show that f of x equals absolute value of x is continuous, let's say, at any point x naught. And more precisely, this means we have to show that for our epsilon, there is delta positive such that if x minus x naught is less than delta, then f of x minus f of x naught is less than epsilon. And this is actually very quick. It just relies on what's called the reverse triangle inequality, which I would like to remind you what it says. So reverse triangle inequality. It just says that the difference of absolute values is less or equal to the difference of the numbers. And there's a separate video on the reverse triangle inequality. And well, using this, let's show this. So step one, let's just do some scratch work. Well, consider f of x minus f of x naught. Well, that is precisely the difference of the absolute values. How perfect. It fits directly right into this formula. There's less or equal to the difference of absolute values. And we want this to be, le to be less than epsilon. So how would we just let delta to be epsilon? It literally screams at us here. Choose me, choose me. Uh, step two. So let epsilon be given and let delta to be epsilon, then if x minus x naught is less than delta, then just copy the same line, then f of x minus f of x naught, that is the difference between the absolute values, which is less than or equal to x minus x naught, well, it's less than delta, but which is epsilon. And therefore, we're done. And therefore, f absolute value is continuous at x naught. All right, if you like this and you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.